Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So the internet is abuzz with rumors of or talk of the Panasonic GH5. Um, three big things that I find the most interesting on the GH5. Three things that I hope will trickle down to, I guess, what will probably be the G8, the successor to my favorite little G7. Uh, the first thing is the fact that they're saying it will have 6K video. Now, originally when 4K came out, I was not a big fan and I saw all the reasons why I wouldn't want it. I was quickly a convert and I love 4K for a lot of reasons and 6K, I'm, I think I'm gonna love it for all those reasons plus some because you'll just have this power file if you want to downsample it to 1080 or to 4K, you can. You'll get a cleaner file then. You'll have a 6K file that you can cut into, you can crop even more heavily than a 4K to make it look like you're shooting from different camera angles. In other words, film with one camera and get a lot more variety and versatility out of the file. You can make it look um, a lot better from cropping it to look like you're switching camera angles. The second thing which is really interesting is because it is 6K, when you grab a, uh, a still shot, when you grab a frame out of that 6K video, it's going to be an 18 megapixel file size. That is impressive. We are now going to be at the resolution where it's very conceivable to shoot, to, to obtain your still images from your video. And you can shoot your video differently with the ability or the thought in mind to grab your still. So you can almost set up your video more for the lighting and the way that you would have wanted it if it was a still image and then shoot it as video and then just pull the stills that are good out of it. And there'll be 18 megapixel files. That's plenty for all but, you know, for 99% of what we would do, an 18 megapixel file size is great. So that's really exciting. That's really interesting uh, and is really gonna open up innovation and things you can do uh, from video so that that's a really cool feature and then the other thing is it looks like we're going to be getting and I'm sure we will actually is the um, the 20 megapixel sensor it's probably the same one from the GX8 uh, but that's an extra four megapixels more advanced sensor very good performing sensor so that's a very welcome bonus too so that's the um, the three things that I'm most excited about uh, for the GH5 is there uh, something I've missed that you guys saw that you think is equally exciting? Is one of these not exciting to you? Let's have a little chat about the GH5. Leave some comments below. Let's discuss it. Um, always these Panasonic flagships are nice cameras. I don't expect this to be anything but sensational. Um, the GH2, going back to it, was a great camera. The GH3 was a great camera. The GH4 is a great camera. Even my G7 uh, is a fantastic little camera. So these cameras are usually well refined, well thought out, and they don't usually have any problems when they come out. Uh, so it's very exciting. Um, leave some comments below. Are you interested in a GH5? Is there a spec I missed that you think is interesting? Um, one of the specs I mentioned not interesting to you and why? Let's discuss it. Leave some comments. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks, folks.